<laughs> do you use any of them in your shows? I do, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's actually also become my thing that I only bring white guitars okay. out with me on the road. Because it seems quite ironic with the rock pop genre that you have and yeah. some of the lyrics that you have about um, wanting the other person to bleed the same way that you have bled and then you're right. with this pure white guitar. Yeah. <coughs> I th it's, yeah, without it sounding too... Uh, basically, it's just about we pretty much always wear black on stage and I just think it sort of looks cool that there's just this one white thing up there. Um, yeah, it's just... Uh, I mean, I guess in theory I could have fallen in love with red guitars, but it's just, it just happened to be white, and uh, and, and that goes very well with the, the black attire. You know, I have to stress that there's definitely a, a difference between a, a guitar that you can use in a live scenario and a guitar you use w for recording. You know, the recording is 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 not done solely on white guitars because I have others that sound better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you always end up going back to those. I think I've, that, at least that's my experience through those same five guitars when you're recording because they're just the ones that sound the best. Um, but I think live-wise you can sort of fake it a little bit more because everything is so loud anyway. So it's, uh, it doesn't really matter if you're playing a Mexican-made Fender guitar. I you know it's, it, 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 it it'll sound fine, you know. Is there one guitar that would end your collection? Um, like the cherry on top, you yes. mean? Um, I think it would be hard to just, um, to just pick out one single instrument. Um, um, but Nikolai once asked me if, if there was like, you know, if I would ever consider like investing some, some serious money in, in a guitar. Um, and what would it be? And I, I think like my sort of the holy grail of guitars for me it would be like a 1959 uh, Les Paul Junior in in in, uh, in TV yellow, um, like a double cut one, like Johnny Thunder's played. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I I just think that it, that there seems to be, which is the beauty of it, I guess, uh, being being a, a collective soul. Uh, there, there seems to be a lot of you know. There's always a new you know, a new guitar coming out. I'm very excited about uh, Johnny Marr, uh, guitar player of the Smiths. He's having like a signature Fender Jaguar coming out, in, I think in January 2012. I'm definitely having one of those. Um, you know, so, <laughs> the so this- Christmas list. Yes. It's, pre yeah, yeah, pre Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. A post, post Christmas yeah. present for myself. <laughs> Finally, is there a musician's guitar that you would be um, willing to pay a little bit of extra money for just because that person owned it? Ooh. Ooh. That's a good question. I would probably, if I, if I ever invested in something like that, which I'm never going to do, <laughs> but if I was to, it would just end up in a cabinet, you know. I, I, I don't think I would play it really. Or, Maybe I would in the, in the studio, but it would just be kind of weird to pick something up that claps in the blade or something yeah. like that, you know, like, I'm not worthy. Um, but, uh, I mean, anything that Jimmy Page played would be pretty cool to have. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, I, I'm not... I mean, to own a guitar that Johnny Ma had played or something like that would be pretty fantastic as well. I would love to buy like a, one of uh, Billy Duffy who is like the guitar player in the cult, you know, one of his white falcons, that would be pretty sweet. Um, keep it white. Keep it white, exactly. <laughs> yeah.